And here we're going to take a closer look at the speed of sound in air. Now it turns out that the speed of sound in any medium is equal to the square root of the bulk modulus divided by the density of that medium. Now the bulk modulus is defined as a ratio of the change in the pressure divided by how much that volume changes compared to its original volume. So if you increase the pressure on a substance, you tend to decrease its volume. And the ratio of that decrease goes in the denominator and the change in the pressure in the numerator. And of course, that is a minus uh, delta P so, or minus delta V over V because you're actually making it smaller. So it's a, it's a decrease in the volume with an increase in the pressure. Now, how we find what the bulk modulus for air is, we have to think about what really happens here. When sound is made, the vibrations are at uh, frequencies of hundreds of hertz, hundreds of times per second. These are very fast vibrations and very fast compressions. The compressions happen so quick that they're adiabatic. And so an adiabatic compression <coughs> is defined that the pressure times the volume to the gamma equals the pressure times the volume to the gamma in two different states of the, of the air. So when the air is rarefied and then the air is compressed, it goes to this quick change. Keeping in mind that the gamma is simply a ratio of the specific heat at constant pressure divided by specific heat at constant volume, which for air, which is a diatomic molecule, is 7 halves R divided by 5 halves R, which R is the gas constant, which is 1.4. So we just need to know at this stage that gamma here is just a, a constant 1.4. So what we can say then is that the P V to the gamma is always a constant. It doesn't change So for a gas under adiabatic compressions. So if we now want to go ahead and take the differential of both sides of that equation, because what I want to do ultimately is put this into a differential equation so we can say that the bulk modulus is equal to the change in the pressure divided by the ratio of the change in the volume divided by the volume and solve that or replace that by what we find here in an adiabatic compression. So if we take the differential of both sides, that's basically the derivative of both sides without the uh, denominator, we take the first P times the differential of V to the gamma, which is gamma times V to the gamma minus 1, so that's simply the derivative or the differential of V to the gamma, plus the second, which is V to the gamma, times the differential. Oh, I forgot one thing. I still have to have a dV in here, because if I take the derivative of V, I get dV. And then the uh, differential of, of uh, this product, so we get the second, times the differential of the first, which is a dP, equals 0, because the differential of a constant is 0. All right, I'm going to solve that equation for dP, which means I'm going to move this over the other side. So we have dP is equal to uh, minus P gamma V to the gamma minus 1 dV divided by the coefficient of dP, which is V to the gamma. Now notice that if I have V to the gamma minus 1 divided by V to the gamma, the ratio of that is simply 1 over V. So we can say that dP is equal to minus P times gamma times dV divided by V to the first power, like that. All right. So now I can replace this dP by this dP right here. So I can say that the bulk modulus is equal to minus P times gamma times dV over V divided by the denominator, which is minus dV over V. And then you can see that this dV over V and this dV over V cancels. The minus cancels the minus. And so the bulk modulus for air, which is a diatomic molecule, is simply equal to the pressure of the air times the gamma, which is the ratio of the coefficient, the heat coefficient at constant pressure divided by the heat coefficient at constant volume. If we now replace that into the equation over here, we can see that the velocity of sound and air is equal to the bulk modulus, which is the pressure times the gamma divided by the density of the air. Now let's plug in all the numbers and see what we get. So this is equal to the square root of what is the pressure at standard temperature and pressure? That would be 101,300 pascals, that's the atmospheric pressure, so 101,300 newtons per square meter, times the 1.4 that we found over there, 1.4, all divided by the density of air, and at standard temperature and pressure, the density of the air is 1.29 kilograms per cubic meter. And let's see what we get when we 
use a calculator to find the speed of sound in air and of course considering that this is STP conditions, standard temperature and pressure that's 0 degrees centigrade in one atmosphere so we have 101,300 uh, times 1.4 divided by 1.29 equals take the square root and I get 331 meters per second which is the number that we used in our previous video but now at least you see where that came from so it makes a lot of sense again compressions are very fast we have to use adiabatic compression theory which is simply that the pressure times the volume to the gamma equals a constant from one state of a gas to the other state of the gas and from that we can nicely calculate the speed of sound